Welcome to my fish room. Okay, just as I was speaking about it, I heard a little teek teek. And that was it turning off, so you didn't really miss anything. Scrapers always work better if the algae is wet. Even if it's just been dried out like 10 minutes, and it still works better when they're wet. Just touch up down around the bottom on the other side. Okay, so I'm going downstairs now and I'm going to pump water back up into the tank. So it's kind of boring because without me up here, you can't see nothing. So I think I'll take the camera down there and you can watch me do all of that. Okay, see you down. Okay, so we're down here now. Here's the filtration system, the wet dry tower, wooden box on the floor little water sensor. I take it out when I do it so I don't have to listen to it squeal if I get it wet. And I got an inch hose to uh, pump her back in. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. It's going to get loud. level in there to go down a bit. I'll have to fix the protein skimmer, the uh, I'm sure he's not stuck in air. Okay, that's got her. Okay, so now we're getting down to the lower. So we'll plug this pump in. So this, plug, this pump runs really, really fast. So it actually runs faster than the big pump that runs the system. And it's what we use to pump the water from these four different uh, barrels. 
It's got a UV sterilizer. It's got a calcium reactor. It's got the uh, protein skimmer. RO system and the whole deal. So it's all built in, compact, and really nice. Now, this is not mine. Okay? This is what they did. Don't go thinking I'm messy. I'm messy, but don't go thinking. This is why I need Boy. When I have Boy, I can make him clean up. And as everybody knows, Father should not be left alone. So I was reading the astronomy magazine the other day. This guy has a theory that uh, the Big Bang just an isolated event in the middle of the actual universe because it's here, apparently the universe is infinite. And when you look at a percentage of infinity, you actually can only look at zero percentage of infinity because it's infinity. So I didn't really understand that. And then today they were talking on the radio about a planet made out of diamonds. Twice as big as the Earth, has eight times the mass, and it's about 3,500 degrees on it. And apparently it's all graphene and graphite and uh, stuff like that instead of, uh, you know, granite and water. So, my question is, how do you get the diamonds back if they're 3,500 degrees? Because that's hot. Well, you melt steel long before then. I think steel melts at like 2,000 something. I think 1,500 is the tempering color, so maybe 1,800 then. It's a long time since shot glass. And then you pump her till she's full. And she's full. So there we go. Now we take this pump out because we don't want it sitting in the water. Just in case. And then we put the little water sensor back in. If these two things touch water, squeal! And let you know that you got some water. Now you always check the flow to make sure they swing freely. Put their salt. See, we use one and a half bags of salt each time. So, three filters done. That's will dry. When this is dry, that's when it gets thrown out because there's a drain underneath that. All right, so that's how you put the water back in this one. So I'm going to be fiddling around with the protein skimmer for a bit. So, uh, that's, well, I might let you watch that, actually. This is how you get a protein skimmer started up again. Now what's happened is, they got water, see how that's running good, okay that's fine, we'll unplug that. You need it to suck the air in from the side. Now, what's the easiest way to do that? Anybody? Anybody? This is the easiest way. Okay? Now, can anybody guess how this is the easiest way? Well, I'm about to show you after I put this on better. So right now there's no bubbles in there. But if I do this, that's 
put bubbles into it. Why won't it put more in it? around it a little more. See, what I'm trying to do is restrict the flow so that it sucks the air in. And turn it until it works. tighten that clamp. See, when you leave something stuck on for a long time, it gets really stuck on. But if you take it off, you have to put the clamp back on. Eh, yeah, good luck with that one. Okay. <laughs> That's what happens to a steel clamp under salt water. So. I think what we're going to have to do is get a new piece of hose. Where's my plastic? Okay, there's my plastic. We're not going to do that today. We've got to get a bigger piece of hose to go from there and a new clamp. Okay. So we'll leave that unplugged. All right. See you back upstairs.